Hi, so you've seen um, Ashley um, doing a little bit of massage, with, or rather me doing a little bit of massage on Ashley. Um, a bit of a meditation state that was, it was quite, quite nice, relaxing. And don't forget, it's not only about the body, it's the mind. Again, the mind and the spirit and the soul and all those kind of things. You look at my lesson 20, that's a long one, and I challenge anyone to start and finish on that lesson 20. It's all about the mind, the spirit, the soul, the Holy Holy Ghost, the beginnings and the end. Uh, it's like going on a fishing hunt together. Um, and that one I've just showed you with Ashley is a little bit about how the mind and the imagination can work with somebody touching you with healing hands. Healing hands is a very difficult thing to understand. What do we mean, what do we mean by it? As I said, I'm not medically um, a, a medical expert. I'm not medically um, in a position to to tell you what medicine is all about. All I do know is what works. And I have done different things in my life with my hands on the healing side, which I did not know I could do until somebody told me. And I still don't understand that either. However, I do know that I've done it. Um, and it's like really putting a tie on. You can put a tie on yourself, but trying to put it on somebody else is quite difficult, if you know what I mean. Those who've done that know what I mean. Um, so, although I can massage people, I find it very difficult to do it myself. But I do, but at my level. Because I need someone to massage me, like I massaged um, Ashley. But now we're going to go on to the breathing side because that's all part of meditation um, on how to breathe. Now, what does breathing actually mean? Um, again, if you look at my lesson 20, the big one, that we're going to more detail. Breathing in something which is nothing. The air around us is nothing and we breathe it. Without it, we're dead. Take it away for a few minutes, we're dead. So, <clears throat> what happens when we breathe? Now, I'm not going to go into all the scientific things on what it does and what it don't do and all that. I'm just looking at the fact that surrounding us is a power of nothingness. Can't touch it, can't feel it. Without it, we're gone. So, that goes into our being. So, we're breathing in. Breathing up. But during the day, how do we breathe? We only take a little breath in. Now, if I've got a balloon and I blew it up, the same level we breathe every single day, breathing in and out. We talk to each other, we're breathing in and out. We're sleeping, we breathe in and out. Now, if you imagine that, that balloon was your lungs, it's a normal breathing. It will only blow up a little bit of that, a little bit of that air we blew in, wouldn't fill the whole balloon up. But if we went, it would put more air in it. But to put more air in the balloon, we have to get more air into us. And when I say to people, take a deep breath, first thing they do is go, is their shoulders up, which I just did just now. We're not breathing in our shoulders, so why use our shoulders? So drop your shoulders and do that same breath. Breathe again.
as much as you can and out. Quite a long time, wasn't it? Instead of going, or breathing through your mouth and out your nose. How many times do we actually fill our balloon up as much as we can without moving our shoulders? I can feel it here now. And one inch below my belly button, when I blow out, instead of going out there, I'm going to try to blow it out, but exercise the bottom part of my body and blow out. I can't show you on the video because I'm not, I know, I try not to sell my toes. Watch my fingers. come out. Now I won't do that. Watch. Now watch. Fingers have come out. So sometimes breathing has got techniques and skills. I'm going to show you one of them, which I always use. And when I'm calling my fighters in the boxing ring or in the cage, I always tell them Breathe in and out, just like I'm showing you now. Not, but breathing in. Put the tongue behind the roof of your mouth, behind your teeth, and purr. Try to control that breath, and try to let it out slowly and long. Breathing in slowly, difficult to understand is you time yourself breathing in and you time yourself blowing out. I'll show you again. I've got out that boy. Quite a long time going out and shorter going in. But the amount of pleasure that it gives you when you're doing it in an exercise form. They do quite a lot of this in Tai Chi. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to use our children's syllabus, number one, two, and three. We teach them to go down to escape. We teach them to go up to escape, and number three is one down and one up. So number one in the children's syllabus and the ladies' self-defence is going down, that's number one. Number two is going up, and number three is one going down and one going up. So let's try and put the breathing into that. When I make that movement, I'm breathing in. Number two. And number three.
Now I felt my shoulders come up a little bit when I was breathing in then, so I've got to control that. But controlling it nicely, getting a nice posture as in Tai Chi. Breathing in, fetching the air into your body, collecting it. Holding it. Pushing out. Two, bring it in and out. Number three, one down, one up and in. Well, now, adult jujitsu and the wrist is the same thing. They grab the wrist, you make a big circle, you catch, and out. Number two in the adult syllabus is the other shoulder. We push the head around come to that side, so we're pushing backwards. Again, breathing in. And it goes on and on and like that. So, no matter what movement you make, the first part is the breathing in. Collecting the universe, collecting the air, collecting the nothing, there's the power around us, collecting it putting inside us, filling our balloon up as much as we can, holding it, enjoying it, and then let it out slowly. So that's the breathing techniques of Brian Dossett. Understanding how to do it. Now, when you have that on the more physical side, we can go, making an impact at the end. <laughs> shop and shop. In, out. <laughs> Still some there. So all this kind of thing is, you can either do it slowly, gently, or powerful. Whether you do it slow, whether you do it fast. I'll show you for the last time. And I'm not even going to make a move this time. I'm just going to enjoy my breathing. That's without doing any movement at all. How many times have we heard people say, when they get up tight, get a bit of a temper, oh, take a deep breath, slow down, take a deep breath. Because what happens when you start getting irritable and you get upset, a lot of stress, your blood starts to go faster. You start breathing faster. And that's if you get a cut, it comes out faster because the blood is going fast. And sometimes, to stop that blood flowing fast, stop you beat your heart going boom, 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 I'm mad, I'm mad, or I'm upset, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed, is to slow it down. And you can do that only through breathing. It goes fast. Take a deep breath. Slow down.
keep to that level. That's what we mean when we say, take a deep breath, slow down, keep calm. Hope you enjoyed my little lesson. Bye-bye.